Hello and welcome back to the We Are City Extra channel. I'm back again with episode 2 of the Celta Vigo FIFA 21 Korean mode following the Manchester City model. We had a really good first episode. Let's get right into the second episode. We go to Ibar who signed Troy Deeney from Watford. That's an odd signing to bring to La Liga. But it's Celta Vigo versus Ibar, our second game. And we're currently in seventh position with three points. Well, you can't change your side. There's beaten Real Madrid, can you, 2 1 at the Bernabal? So it's the same 11 as before. Same bench as well. No changes at all to this side. And hopefully we get the same result. Well, here we are at our beautiful stadium in Vigo for the game today against Ibar. Dimitrovic in goal. 4 4 2, the classic from them. Cote, Burgos, Oliveira, and Pozo, the back four. Rodriguez starts on right on left wing, which is a bit odd, with Alvarez in the middle there. And then Embakani and Enrich up top. That's a very strong strike force. Two very big physical centre forwards. And they've signed Troidini as well. So that is a big physical side that Ibar have got. Odd for La Liga, you could say. So Celta Vigo versus Ibar. And it's live. Chance here, Mario. Good defending by Mario. He's giving it back though. He's had a very good start, Mario. Was fantastic in that Real Madrid game. Chance for them to swing one in. Free header and it's a goal. It was coming. Gomez had lost him in the box. And Sergi Enlich scores for them. It was Alaza on this left-hand side who left his post again. I'd expect better from Gomez. I would expect better from Gomez there. Nowhere near Sergi, the striker. And he smashes that header in. Nothing Blanco can do about it either. But Sergi Gomez needs to be closer to that man in the box. And 1-0 down we find ourselves. So no clean sheet yet. The first two games of the season. But we've come back before. We did against Real Madrid. Hoping we can do today. We should be creating more chances today. Embakani. Gomez chases. Oh, and he's passed Gomez too easy. Mario. Pass Mario as well. Ball into the box to Sergi who makes it 2 0. Defensively not been good enough in this first 15 minutes. And we've just gone and beat Real Madrid and we're celebrating. And now we're 2 0 down to Ibar. Simple goal. And Embakani. Just destroying our defence and a ball in there. Again, could Mayo be closer? Could Blanco come out to him a bit quicker? Not the world's best goalkeeping. 2 0 down, we find ourselves in our first home game of the season. Alaza. Need to get Nolito involved a bit more. Got good qualities for a left winger, Nolito. He's not the quickest, but he's, he's good on the ball. He can pick a pass. He can definitely finish. Oh, here's Aspas. Yago Aspas goes for the near post. It's a good save by Dimitrovic. Sergio Gomez up, played away by Embakani. Oh, and then Haspas lets it hit him on the way out. Oh, that's a nice ball. Wrong side of him, Embakani comes flying in. Chance, and it's a good save by Ruben Blanco. Flicks it over the bar, really good goalkeeping. It's not been a good first half, it really hasn't. Embakani in there, they've got two big forwards up top. They're causing us all sorts of problems. I wouldn't say we've really had a chance. Mayo left his position. Oh, Enrich is in here. Enrich is in here. He's made it 3-0. Defensively really poor today. I'm just not good enough at all. And Ibar lead by three goals to nil. No one comes across. No one at all comes across to try and at least stop him. Gomez gives him a bit of a tug. But it's not enough. Hat trick for Sergi Enric. Enish, however you say his name. Nolito's in all sorts of space. No pace on Nolito. Absolutely no pace. The ball's got to be into his feet. Nolito. Mendes. Nolito, well the ball's going to be into his feet and it was there 
Kick that ball up Nalito. 3-1. Possibly back in this game now. Good little flick over the top by Mendes in Nalito. That is a really nice volley. What a volley by Nalito here. On his left foot into the bottom corner. It's a fantastic finish. Goudet celebrates our <laughs> manager. We're 3-1 down here. We need some Nalito magic. We've started playing much better now. Mendes. Pass pass. Through to Mina. Mina. Nalito! Oh, he's put it wide, Nalito. I thought he'd scored there. I thought he'd scored. They were appealing for offside. We didn't think so. Chance for Suarez to make a tackle there. He couldn't do it. Alaza gets a foot in. It's not enough. And the overlap again. Alaza is not that impressive, is he? Good ball into the box. Chested down. And Rodriguez scores 4-1 down. Everything comes down this left side of Alaza. Everything down that left-hand side. Good finish at the near post. But Alaza is not good enough at left-back. And Kevin Rodriguez scores 4-1 down. I think that is a game over really, isn't it? Mayo. Back to Aspas is a poor one. Oh, they're in again here. And Bacani is going to be offside, surely. Apparently not. Chance. Chance here, and it's 5-1. Shocking defending. Shocking defending. And that's something we need to work on our defence. 5-1 down to Ivar. Mario, so... No, it's Tapir, actually. So weak getting across there. So weak. And it allowed them to get in the score. And it's Pedro Leon with a goal. 5-1, we're down here. And Bacani. Clearly have a style of football, Ivar. 4-4-2. Lumpy up to the big men. It's worked against us. It's Suarez. Oh, what a ball. Nolito, it's a good save. Aspas, oh, it's a good block as well. Trying to pull it back to 5-2. Mario gets booked for that earlier challenge. Well, we've got some quality players, haven't we, in this team, but we're just not up to the level we want to be yet. Oh, good turn. Oh, it could be four for him. It could be four for him. It's 6-1. Really poor performance defensively. Really poor performance. Sergio reached with four goals now against us. It's Diop who's come on for them. Four goals in the league for him and all against us today. 6-1 down. Oh, ball in behind to Sergi who scored another one. It's 7-1. What a finish by him. Well, he's been lethal against us today. Crossed Gomez too easy. 7-1 down. It's a relegation sort of result this, isn't it? And we're hoping we're not in a relegation fight this season, but we're 7-1 down here. Aspas, nowhere to go. We had men forward there as well. Oh, he's in again here. He's in again. Oh, and he passed it to Embercarni, 8-1. <sighs> not a good start to this career mode, is it? We beat Real Madrid, run a high. And then we go and lose 8-1 to Ibar. Could be 9, could be 10. There's still 10 minutes left. It's a good goal. I'm selfish with the, the man up there. He's already got 5 goals today. Back to Embercarni. Gets his first goal of the season. 8-1. A really poor result. A really poor result. Fran Beltran. Maybe he's better. Because that is fantastic. Touches there. And Tapia's got a chance to play in. This man. Yago Aspas. Who makes it 8-2. I wouldn't celebrate Yago. Frustration from Aspas. I'm sure he is celebrating. 8-2 down. Nothing to celebrate. Good ball by Tapia. Good finish by Aspas. He's second in the league this season. But 8-2 down. Manchester United and Arsenal. Result this one, isn't it? Out to Nolito. Wants that overlap from the fullback. Does come. Crosses it into Aspas. It's cleared away. 
Corner ball. Alaza seems like a much better forward. Thinking full back defensively is poor. There's Nolito. Knocks it on to Murillo. And that is full time. Celta Vigo 2. Ibar 8. Five goals for that man up top. Six attempts, five goals. He was clinical. He's lethal. And maybe he's a striker we should be looking at to partner Aspas in the future. Aspas looks down at the turf. He's not happy. I don't think any of the team is happy. Why do you begin to explain such a disheartening performance? I don't think they were as bad as the scoreline suggests. I think just eight moments of poor defending led to eight goals. But other than that, <laughs> try to be positive. We've got to try and be positive. Keep our heads here. We, we know we, I think we got a little bit too excited, didn't we, in that Real Madrid win and we got to the players' heads. Players are ups and downs, and Mourinho had a massive down today after that massive up against Real Madrid. He's only on, uh, on loan, Mourinho, but maybe he isn't the man to lead us forward. And the next game we play is an away game, and hopefully we can continue our away form while we played against Real Madrid with the game against Alaves. Well, we make four changes from the side that lost 8 2 to Ibar. Uh, Arujo comes in at centre back for Gomez. Aaron Martin comes in at left back for Olaza. Beltran comes in for Denis Suarez. And Dimata comes in up top for Santimina. So here we are, a game against Deportivo Alaves today. The blue and white that they wear. They're a very good side, Alaves. Like all the sides in La Liga. All very strong. All can cause problems for you. And we are in our purple and blue kit today. Claret and blue, you could say. Similar to the Manchester City. Um, historic away kit. Sivera in goal. A back four of Marin. Lejeune. Navarro's at left back as well. Or right back, I think it was. Batalgi and Thomas in the middle. They hold down the midfield. So 4 4 2 again, and Perez and Joselu are the two up top. So Celta Vigo versus Deportivo Alvarez. And it's live in La Liga. Need to be careful how we bring our defence out. Arujo's out here. He's left the foot in there, he got lucky. On this left hand side, they come again. Martin across. Good play by Martin Beltran. Oh, he can't afford to give it away in that position. And Blanco makes a save. Very confident by Fran Beltran to try and play with the ball. In that sort of position. In front of his own box. Nolito. De Mata. Fran Beltran. Love a little ball on his left foot. Switch of play to Mendes. Aspas. Oh, De Mata. Through to Aspas. Through to Iago Aspas. And we lead 1-0 against Alaves. Great play by Iago Aspas. Three games, three goals for this man. The number 10. The biggest legend in Celta Vigo history. Great little spin as well. He spun. Played a little 1-2 with Dimata. And then he put the ball into the top corner, Iago Aspas. 1-0 we lead Alaves. And that's a better start than the game. Against Ibar. Look much, uh, much more solid today. Mario. Mayo. We've played a few aerial balls that have been really nice. Beltran. Aspas. Great space for himself, Aspas. He could have probably laid it off to Nolito there. Went for goal himself. Di Matta with a... Whoa, what a header by Di Matta. He's headed it down into the ground. Nearly got his first Celta goal there. They give it away. Mendes. Aspas. The matter. Mendes. Back to Aspas. Nolito makes it 2 0. Fantastic football. The matter, I think, with two assists today. He's really sort of a great hold up link up striker. Better than Santi Mina at the moment. And he lays this one off for Nolito. We know he can finish Nolito. We've said that. He just drifts in from the left-hand side on the edge of the box. This is where we want him to be. Because we know he can do that with his right foot. 
He's got a lethal right foot. And we want him to stay on the edge of the box to cut inside. Find these sort of positions in space. He does here. And what a finish that is by Nolito. Nolito. Oh, he's got space. Good switch as well. Not to Mendes. Oh, I'll try to flick it on. Oh, Nolito does. The matter. The matter with a shot. Not really. Got that quality, Ali De Mata. That's pass. Beltran. Oh, Aspas. Aspas, what a save. What a save. Aspas took it a bit too far there. He was clever by him to take it past the keeper. He just put that one. Not in the back of the net. Could have maybe dinked the keeper. I'll play another corner in here. To Murillo. To Mendes, it falls to. Cleared away. Beltran. That's a big foul on Beltran, you'd say. And they've got a chance to counter. Mayo. Oh, it's a poor tackle by Hugo Mayo. Got him, really has gone in hard to win that one, Hugo Mayo. He's not getting booked. I'm surprised. It should have been a yellow card. Should definitely have been a yellow card there. Soft La Liga refereeing. So, second half. Same side comes out for the second half. A really good performance. The matter's been. Sort of impressive up top. I don't think he's a sort of striker for the long term, if I'm honest. He's not good enough for us long term. But um, short term, he's been impressive. When he's played a good ball to Nolito here. Nolito, oh, and he just can't get past the defender. Although, the goalkeeper nearly gave it straight to him. This would be a really poor start to the second half. If he were to concede here. No cross, hopefully. Cross does come in. What a save by Blanco. What a save by Ruben Blanco. Saves us there. The goalkeeper. Mayo. Mendes. Pass, pass. The matter again, holding the ball up. Then lays it off. Aspas! Oh, tries to put one in the bottom corner. Not a bad idea by Iago Aspas. I'm lucky not to pull it off. Deflected and. Didn't work out. Tapia's lost out here. Oh, great ball. Chance here for Lucas Perez who makes it 2-1. They've started to grow into the game, haven't they, in the second half? We've conceded again. No clean sheet. Disappointing as well. Tapia here. Loses that header. Arugio dives in. Perez isn't missing from that sort of range. 2-1. He's four goals already as well in the Liga for Lucas Perez. Some pretty good performers, isn't he, in the Liga at the moment? We need to go back to control in this game. The matter. Mayo. Over the top to Aspas. Really nice ball into the box. Aspas back to Mendes. I wanted to go to the matter there, but he wasn't really in the position to pass to him. Hugo Mayo's playing. Very attacking. Here's Aspas. Mayo. Oh, it's into the matter. He didn't really attack it. I don't think he expected the ball in from Mayo. Got Nolito. There. Making runs in behind. De Mata. Nicely done. Beltran. Iago Aspas makes it 3-1. It is three. I was worried it was offside then, but it's not. 3-1. Iago Aspas goal. Really good play by De Mata again. He's more of a link-up striker, isn't he? Great little link-up with Fran Beltran. Finds Aspas. I mean, he's got such a, a empty net to put it into, really. The keeper's position in here. He couldn't miss, could he, Iago Aspas? And he's a club legend for a reason. Four goals in the league for him. Level with Lucas Perez. Four in three. They come forward again. Great tackle, Arujo. Great tackle. It's a shame the team didn't win the ball. They do. Here's Arujo. Of all people. The Mexican centre back. Oh, he plays it into Aspas. Yago Aspas makes it 4 1. I think that's a hat trick, is it, for Aspas? He's been fantastic today. Four goals against Alaves. Three by Yago Aspas. 4 1 we lead. Really good goal. Narujo working hard from centre half. What a finish by Aspas. Puts it in with power, doesn't he? Puts it in with power. Bonalito. 
He's not playing a very good pass there, has he? As he's first touched on the ball. Not strong though by the Mexican centre back there. From Beltran. Mina. Aspas. Mina. Ma Martin. To the back post. To Aspas who makes it 5-1. That's why we kept this man on. Because we thought he might score again. We might have lost 8-2 last week. But we're winning 5-2 this week. Great ball by Martin. Or Aaron. Whoever you want to say his name. I think it is Aaron Martin. His full name. He says Aaron just on the game though. And he's been fantastic at left back today. On his debut. On his first appearance of the season. And he's played a fantastic ball over the top. Diago Aspas. He gets his sixth goal of the season now. 5-1 we lead. And that's why we kept Aspas on. I had a feeling he'd score again. Incredible performance. It's Martin again. Into Aspas again. 6-1. Thiago Aspas has got another. His movement is unbelievable. Absolutely incredible movement. And 6-1. We lead now. Another assist for Martin from left back. Another header for Thiago Aspas as well. He's seventh of the season in three games. Incredible movement, hasn't he, in the box? I mean, what is he? Five foot eight? Five foot nine? Beats Lejeune in the air just because of the, the quality of the cross and the quality of the player. Finding the right space at the right time for that cross in. Six goals. Mina. Over the top to Aspas. Aspas. Oh, and I tried to curl that one into the top corner. Pretty too close to the keeper, however. Well, that's a good ball by the keeper. Good turn as well. Mario makes a really important tackle. Ball into the middle. Tapia's got to get back here. Oh, he hasn't. Chance. Chance, and it's 6-2. Well, we're a goal scoring side, I'll tell you that. But defensively, we've still got issues. Tapia in that holding midfield role just hasn't got the pace, has he, to get around. Just not got the pace here to stop that ball. And once they've made that run, Tapia had lost his man in the middle already. And Ryan Thomas... Scores. Valavez 6 2. High scoring game. Poor though by us defensively. Chance here again for Alaves. Really good chance. Defensively we've crumbled. Oselu. Well, I can't believe he scored that. 6 3. We've got defensive issues. We've got real defensive issues. Good little chip, isn't it, on the keeper? I'm surprised Blanco hasn't saved it. I brought him out to make Marcelo chip it and then let go. Hoping that Blanco would run back. Instead he didn't. 6-3. And that is full time. So we do win 6-3. The away fans get to see us win again. The home fans yet to see us win. Niago Aspas with four goals. Five goals today. Could have been more than a 6-2 win for Celta Vigo. Well it is transfer deadline day. And as we know we won't be signing any players. We've made all the signs we need to make. Uh, in this career mode so far and we, we know what our plans are don't we for the future once for sale we will be making his Norwich of coming for Sergio our goalkeeper 34 year old for 530,000 so we will accept that deal to let Sergio go there confirmation of his departure to Norwich City in the championship of the Premier League I think so one hour left and that'll be the end of the deadline day and the end of our transfer window and let's just have a quick look our spending compared to Manchester City's in that same year. See, so our transfer window compared to Manchester City's transfer window in 2008-2009, the, the summer window, of course, not a January one. And we've taken off the signs of company and Rubinho because, of course, we didn't sign those players. We couldn't sign those players. So it's not fair to compare that to who we signed until we do sign those players. You can see there, Manchester City signed Joe for 18 million. Wright Phillips, Sean Wright Phillips for 8 million. Uh, ben Aim for 5 million. Pablo Zavaleta for 5 million. A total of 36 million in transfer spending. We only spent 28 million, 10 million on Sergio Gomez, 9 million on Hayson, 5 million on Di Matta, and 4 million on Rodri Tarrant. So in the end, we've actually spent less money. Of course, you could add in the Vincent Company at some point and the Ravino transfers that will come hopefully in the January transfer window, if not later on. But that's a pretty, pretty good, decent transfer window for the first one and a pretty good resemblance to what City did in real life. And it is the 1st of September, which means the club has been bought. And you can see here headlines in Mundo Deportivo about. Celta Vigo being bought 
buy a rich man for around 50 million euros. And the guy who's bought it said that he wants to follow the Manchester City model, our new owner, and he wants to win La Liga within four seasons, following exactly what Manchester City have done, and that's what we're going to be doing. And hopefully with Celta, we can win the league under this new ownership within four seasons, win a cup at least within three years, and uh, really develop this squad into a world-beating squad, and hopefully in the future, you know, compete with the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atleti, and in the Champions League, Manchester City, you know, um, Juventus, those sorts of teams, and be a big club ourselves competing for titles. We've also got our squad report back. So, this goalkeeper looks quite good, isn't he? 67 rated at 17. We've got a left back here, a Portuguese left back, who's left footed. He could be made a centre back though, considering he's 6 foot 7. Very pacey, very physical. Not very good defensively at passing, so maybe he is more of a, a, a centre back. Um, Victor Diaz, he's more of a left back, isn't he? Although he's not as highly rated. Um, this Greek man, could be a midfielder, couldn't he? Doesn't have to be a centre back. Physically good, pace good. Although he's, he's dribbling, defending, passing, shooting isn't that much of a quality. He's also left footed, two left footed centre backs there, so maybe we make him a midfielder. Uh, Varela. Another one who looks quite good, 62 rated at 15 years old. Uh, the, the 15 year old uh, Spanish player. Again, a left footer. Is everyone, we haven't got anyone who's not a left footer. Every single youth player is a left footer. Carlos Rodriguez, the midfielder, he looks decent as well. And then Morentes, the strike, his passing's quite good. It's more of a creative forward, it seems. Now, scouts have, scouts have brought back some players. I don't think there's anyone of interest here from Croatia. No, no one good there. How about in Portugal? Guedes not really there. Barbosa. 76 to 94, we'll give him a chance. Cardoso, 77 to 94, but he's really low in overall. Lafco Mendes, no. And then finally, this Mosquitas, no, not no for him. Cardenas, no. Gutierrez, no. Ooh, we'll find another one, Salazar. No. Well, this man looks alright, doesn't he? Alfonso Sierra could be 70 rated already. I bet it's a left footer. Every one seems to be a left footer at the moment, and no for Carvajal. We will just have a quick look at our youth team and see if that new sign in the new youth sign is a left footer. Sierra. He is left footed. Well, what is going on here? Every single youth player. And our next game is at home. Our home phone hasn't been brilliant, has it? Our home phone. But um, our next game is at home. And our home form hasn't been brilliant, has it really? But um, against Athleti today. Can we pick up three points against a very good side? We, we tend to play well against the good sides. It's the it's the lesser sides that are causing us problems at the moment. This is the side we're going to go with against Atletico Madrid. Blanco starts in goal. A back four of Mayo, Arujo, Murillo, Olaza, Tapia in the middle, Melito on the left, Mendes on the right, Beltran through the middle, and then Di Mata and our captain, Iago Aspas, up top. So there is Iago Aspas, the league's top scorer. Five goals in the last game he scored. You'll remember that one. Absolutely incredible performance from Iago Aspas. And we face a very good athletic side today. And I have the um, idea. I think they've signed Gabriel Jesus up top, which will be a dangerous one. But it is Celta Vigo. Us versus Atletico Madrid. And two sides. So Atleti, come to Celta, come to Vigo. And we need to beat them today. We won't take risks in possession. Not too much anyway, although Tapia did there. Beltran. Look, he's, he's very good in the ball, Beltran. Oh, and he's done well to win that, Nolito. Aspas. Mendes. Aspas. Mendes. Mendes! Oh, it's a good save. You could see the angle which the ball was going in that bottom corner. Jan Oblock to the rescue. Pierre in there. I think he's headed away by Jimenez. Chance again to swing on him. Colossus centre back. Jimenez and that one's into the hands of Jan Black. Mendes. Out wide to Nolito. And he makes what happen, Nolito. They give him a lot of space. Nolito with a shot and what a goal by Nolito. Well, they give him too much space there. The Atletico defenders, they stood off him. I don't think they expected him to have the quality to put it in the top corner. When he's gone and done it. What a finish by Nolito. 
Brilliant goal. We'll see it here from this angle. I think it's Felipe who stands off him. Allows him the space to shoot. We know he's got the quality to shoot as Nolito. What a finish that is. He's so good on that right foot coming in from the left hand side. It's a wonder goal. And this man who returned made his name itself, didn't he really? Before moving to Manchester City. And he's come back and he's playing absolutely fantastically. We weren't so sure of him. He hasn't really got the pace, has he? You'd expect from a winger. Neither is Bryce Mendes, really. We, we haven't got a very pacey, wide area. But um, technically, very gifted players. And that suits our style of play at the moment. The space for Jesus here. No one's watching him. Tapia's got a cross. Suarez. Jesus Mario makes a massive tackle. Here's Beltran. We need Nolito to go in behind me. I know it's not his game. Oh, Nolito. That's a very poor pass. Disappointing from him. To peer intercepts. Mario. Gives it away. I wasn't aiming my pass there. Luis Suarez. Ah, Mario nearly makes a good tackle. I think it's just a jump of Luis Suarez. Cross in. Nolito with a header to the back post. Great little knock on by Nolito, but Di Matta was not there. At least high hopes for Di Matta to be a top player at this club. He's not quite shown it yet. He has in glimpses. That's aggressive defending by. Oh, look, here comes Saul. Mayo, Cross, Suarez. Oh, Mario. Mario with poor defending. Cocaine. I think it comes off a of Laza, does it? No, it's a goal kick. Mario there, really poor. Lodi. Pereira. Cocaine, we're getting across. Koke gets a shot off, but it's wide of the post. We've defended well today. We've defended very well. Suarez. Saul. Lodi. The space on his right hand side. And the left-hand side. Llorente. Tapia gets a foot in. Oh, what a ball by Llorente. To Koke. Mario clears to Alaza. Oh, and Alaza. Poor clearance. I'm not sure who had that shot. Was it Koke or Hector Herrera? But they smashed the bar. They were so unlucky not to score. Mario cleared it away in the end. Here's Renan Lodi. Gets a cross in. Mario gets there. Mario sends it long. Pass pass. Oh, what a touch. And then he's taken out. Suarez. Good tackle again. Aspas. Fly to Nolito. You're hoping he can win that header. Okay. Oh, Rujo. Could be a penalty, that. It's, not, it's just on the edge of the box. It's a free kick. I thought Suarez was going to shoot Mario away. Lays it away. Aspas. It's Beltran. Straight to the back of him came. The Athleti player. Mario wins it. Mario cl clears it. Can we get on a counter now? Here's Nolito. He's not really got the pace for a counter. Iago has though. Di Matta. Oh, in behind to Mendes. Here's Bryce Mendes. Got Lodi on him. Mendes to the back. Post Iago Aspas. 2-0. Brilliant goal. Oh, he's offside. Iago Aspas. He's offside. Can't be by much. He hasn't shown the replay. Can't have been by much that offside. Good win by Tapia. Mendes. Aspas. Oh, I went to play that ball in behind to Nolito. See what he's trying to do. Suarez. Jesus. Wide to Koke. Alaza wins it back. He's done well today at left back, Alaza. We picked him over Martin, and that is half time. One that we lead. And we could get our first win at home today. And Lito, it's his goal that separates us and Atleti. Okay. Trippier. Koke. Oh, Suarez is in space there. Didn't pass to him. They finally found Luis Suarez who does score. You could see it coming. Luis Suarez in too much space. I think it was Arujo who stood off him. And Suarez gets his goal. He cannot leave a player of his quality in space. Could see his movement there. 
one one we concede no clean sheet I'm disappointed can see that goal Saul oh they starting to turn the screw aren't they make things tick Atletico Madrid Herrera ball into the box Alaz is there only as far as Suarez it's blocked Llorente Suarez again it's a block by Arujo out to Aspas Mendes where oh, you got the pace Di Mata oh it's Nelito but he's not got the pace he's still going though Nelito into Aspas cleared away just not further enough into that gap for Iago Aspas. Malaza. The left back makes a run forward. He's got options. And he goes wide to Nolito. Nolito goes back to Alaza. Demata. Alaza. Demata created space for himself. Aspas. Good little first touch. Lays it off to Mendes. Into Aspas. Oh, it's a good block. Mendes in there. And it's a foul. Koke. Yerente, good turn. Ooh, getting his leg tangled in there. Felix, good tackle. Oh, it's, it's a good tackle that could send away Iago Aspas. And it has sent away Iago Aspas. Iago Aspas, good save. Oh, Santimina. Mayo, oh, blocked away. I can't believe Aspas didn't finish that. Brilliant by Oblak. Maybe I should have chipped it to Pia. Trying to make the tackle. Beltran. Aspas to Pia. We're the ones putting the pressure on now. Mina. Dyson. Oh, into Aspas. Oh, Black. With a volley away. Great take down by Koke. To Pia can't win it. They're going to come on the counter now, Athleti. From Dogbia. On the line. And here is Saul. Look at the burst of pace from João Felix through the middle. Mild is really well. Giving away a foul, though. 82 minutes gone. I don't want to give away a point here. Good header away by Arujo. This ball gets switched here. Could be in trouble. It has been switched. The problem is if I bring Murillo across, he can't stop this crossing. Is Saul. Still going, Saul. Oh, it's Xiao Felix. What a finish. What a finish from Xiao Felix. Pulls back. We said when he came on, he's a danger man on that left foot. It's a brilliant finish, isn't it? Off the post and along the floor and in. Brilliant quality in that goal from Joao Felix. 2 1 down. Saul off. I think it's Vitolo on. Very disappointing. That ass pass chance as well. Could have made it 2 1. Santimina, do not rate him at all. Oh, that's a poor touch by Hugo Mayo. Mario away, Arujo, and hit them on the counter. Fran Beltran, I see space for Jason on that right hand side. He finds him. Hasten. Oh, it's a terrible touch by him, a really poor touch. Yeah, now black away, and that is full time. A 2 1 defeat at home. Still no win in a home game. Atleti come. To Vigo, Atleti beat us. Diego Simeone's men. Pretty good performance from them, really. Very disappointing to concede that late João Felix goal, but João Felix with a fantastic finish that got them the win. And that's going to today's episode. A massive disappointment to lose to Atletico Madrid there in the end, but a successful episode in the long run, isn't it? For that get middle game, the first game was also massively disappointing the way we got battered. But Iago Aspas. He's scoring for fun, isn't he? And he's going to be a key man, a legend of Celta Vigo, is Iago Aspas. And he's fantastic for us. So please, as usual, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.